Hello everyone. Uh, in our next episode, uh, today we are looking at item 4 in the CUBS ICT resource paper, where we are looking at section B, part 2. So we have completed part 1 of section A, we have completed part 1 of section B, item 2 and item 3. Now we are looking at section B, part 2, item 4. And item 4 says, Anne is a recent university graduate looking for a job. She found an online job listing that requires applicants to submit their resume, cover letter, and academic transcripts through an online portal. So here they have given us uh, a screenshot of an online portal. Here you can see it requiring personal information and all that. Then from there, the task says, Anne has her documents in physical format and is unfamiliar with the process of digitizing and submitting them online. Task, if Anne asks for your guidance, provide a write-up detailing the steps and ICT tools she would use to successfully digitize and submit her application online so remember while attempting this number there are skills that we are looking out for so one is that is uh, have you managed to outline the relevant steps have you managed to identify the relevant ict tools have you managed to explain how it is applied or used and are there logical flow of steps so meaning that while marking numbers from element of construct 3, where the learner assesses, stores, and shares information using ICT, you are supposed to give a focused introduction, which gives you one mark. You are supposed to give at least six or more steps, and this one scores you four marks, and then the logical flow of steps, two marks, then the conclusion, one mark, and in all, you are supposed to score eight marks. Now, let's look at the scoring guide for this very number. So when you look at uh, this item, uh, you, are, you are supposed to give a clear introduction, one mark, then you give, you identify the steps that are required, that is four marks, that is maximum. If you give three, you get three, you give two, you get two marks, you give one, you get one mark. Then the logical flow of steps and you one mark. Then the format of the document and all that, you get at least one mark and your conclusion. So in total, we get eight marks here. Now let's look at the responses, how one is supposed to respond to this task. So I begin by writing my heading as well. After writing my title, I give my focused introduction. In the modern job market, the ability to effectively digitize and submit application materials online has become a critical skill for job seekers. And a university graduate faces the challenge of converting her physical documents into digital format and navigating the online submission process. As many employers now require online applications, Mastering these steps is essential for presenting oneself professionally and effectively in the digital landscape. That's my introduction, and I will get one mark for the introduction. Then the steps for digitizing the documents, we can get started here. Now, Anne will start by scanning documents. Scan, uh, Anne should begin by scanning her physical documents, the resume, the cover letter, and the academic transcripts using a scanner or a mobile scanning app like Adobe Scan, Cam Scanner, or Microsoft Office Lens. Ensure that the scanned documents are clear and saved in a PDF for easy uploading. Then we are looking at converting to PDF if any of the documents are not already in PDF format, and should use a PDF converter, Adobe Acrobat, a small PDF, 
or save as PDF function that is available in Microsoft Word processing software to convert her documents into PDF. The format is preferable for is, is preferred for its compatibility and ease of access on most platforms. Then two, and prepare application materials, that is the resume and the cover letter. She can use a word processor to write or update the resume and the cover letter. Applications needed, word processing, Google Docs, LibreOffice Writer, etc. Then step three, uh, steps for submitting the application online. You can create an email account if not already done. If Anne doesn't already have an email account, she should create one using a platform like Gmail. This will be necessary for communication with the potential employers and for submitting her application. Then note that accessing the job portal. Using a web browser like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Anne should navigate to the job application portal uh, specified in the job listing she should carefully read through the instructions provided on the website. Then filling the application form. Once logged in, Anne should fill out any required fields in the online application form. This might include personal details, educational background, and work experience. Then uploading documents. Anne should locate the upload or attach button on the application portal. She can then browse her computer or the mobile device to find the digitized resume, cover letter, and academic transcripts and upload them to the portal. Then reviewing and submitting. Before submitting, Anne should carefully review all the information entered and the documents uploaded to ensure there, is no, there are no errors. Once satisfied, she should click submit button to finalize her application. She should save any confirmation number or receipt provided by the portal for future reference. And finally, we give a conclusion. By mastering the digital submission process, Anne can confidently present her qualifications and increase her chances of landing her desired job in today's competitive market. So this is the conclusion, which will earn us one mark. And then here, under the, under the process of digitizing and submitting, all these ones are going to, we are going to revise them, the processes. All these were more than four. So these ones earn as four marks. And then the process, you can see step one, step two, step three, up to the conclusion. So these are well organized, we can say there are two marks for the logical flow of steps. Logical flow of steps. And here now that we have logical flow of steps, two marks plus one, three, then plus four, that is seven, and one mark for introduction gives us eight. So items of section B each carry eight marks. So more to that, you will find that questions of section B, part two, are taken from element of construct theory, where the learner assesses, stores, and shares information using ICT. And these are the topics where they are taken from. Topic three, topic four, topic five, topic three, I mean topic six, topic seven, topic nine, topic 10, and topic 12. That is where the questions of section B, part two are taken from. So we have been looking at uh, item four, which we have fully responded to this scenario item four. In the last episode, we shall look at item five, and we call it all for the CUBS ICT resource paper. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more of the upcoming video lessons and share it to your colleagues and friends. Jabres.